and games for mobile. Are they any good? Today, I dive into the Android Play Store and take a look at the most popular mobile ant colony games. If you want to know whether they are worth your time or not, stay tuned. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Ants Vienna, where we talk everything ant keeping. And it seems that many of us ant keepers also enjoy playing ant colony games on various platforms. So for this video, I went ahead and searched for popular ant games on the Play Store. But I'm sure you'll be able to find many of those on the Apple Store too. And before I dive into these mobile games, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming channel events. With that being said, let's have a look at the first game I tested. It's called Idle Ants and many of you suggested this one when I asked you on our Discord server. If you haven't joined us there yet, you'll find a link in the description below. And this seems to be a clicking slash touching game where your ants eat away various food sources and somehow convert them into money for you miraculously. It has a vertical layout and on the bottom you get three buttons which let you upgrade the performance of your ants to move faster, increase their numbers and their strength respectively. On the very top you get to see an indicator for your current money which you use for these upgrades, the number of how many ants you have active at the moment and slightly below in the middle a bar with the progress to the next world is displayed, trying to convince you that there is a progression system. However, no matter the numbers that are displayed or where you click, it always results in the same action namely you, the user, pressing those boosters which are granted to you for watching an ad, of course. There is a shop too, mainly to customize the looks of your ants, but I won't go into details here. Take that as you will. Ants Colony To give this one a plus, this seems to be an actual ant colony simulator. I also didn't notice a single ad while using it. A couple of ants seem to wander around, foraging the area and doing their thing which I had no control over. You can enter the nest and upon clicking one of those elements you get to the so-called ant workspace where you can supposedly upgrade your ants. I tried clicking one of them which locked me away from clicking the others. So apparently there is some kind of progress in making this particular ant, but due to the absence of a timer or another indicator, you as a user are left in hope it finishes sometime. Since I could not figure this one out and the graphics are way too pixely for my taste, it's time to move on. Finally, ants. Okay, let's talk about this one. The developers of this game seem to have seriously studied ants and their behavior before making it. You are greeted with a nest view in the center, indicator bars on the top displaying your food, even broken down to carbohydrates, protein and aphids, plus a temperature on the left side while on the right side you can see how many ants your colony has, if enemy ants are spotted by your ants as well as how many eggs, larva, pupa and yes even dead ants there are. On the sides you have buttons leading to all available functions like foraging, building, egg laying and a shop. 
I wouldn't characterize their shop as something special. Every time you are confronted with something new, there is a little tutorial to help you out and I only experienced two pop-up ads in my playing session. Now let's get into the two things that personally bother me with this game. The view. The zoom level I have applied here is the maximum that you the user gets. Like this is the default and that on mobile. My phone has a 6 inch screen and things are so small that my eyes cannot keep up with it for long, despite me having no problems whatsoever with my vision, no glasses, nothing. Second, the game's progression. As you can see, on the bottom right you have this next turn button, however, nothing tells you how many moves you get to do in a single turn or by how much this next turn will take you into the future since there is actually a winter and hibernation function. So here is my mixed verdict on this one. This is a very, very naturalistic and colony simulator game with its complexity being both its positive and negative aspect at the same time. The amount of realism that the developers have put into this game blows the proportions for a mobile game in my opinion, which has also led to this not so mobile friendly user interface. Little Ant Colony Last but not least comes in the Little Ant Colony game. Much like the first candidate on our list, Idle Ants, this one follows the click fashion with the vertical layout. You get a status bar on top, your ant evolution buttons on the bottom and the regularly available boosters appear on the right side. There is a store which goes up to 40, 99 euro for 2000 gems but every reasonable person won't need that anyway since gems are mostly used to boost the boosters further if that makes any sense to you. One thing I've got to say however is that despite more ads being shown in this one I ended up enjoying it more than Idle Ants due to its graphical appearance and the foot button which lets your thumb actually do something while waiting. Conclusion So what are my closing thoughts on the games that I reviewed today? Ants Colony Don't bother with this one Finally Ants This one is worth your time if you have enough time to spend on it, that is. Idle Ants and Little Ant Colony Pretty much the same concept with different skins applied. You can pick whichever suits your personal taste the most and play it when you are waiting for something, like your dentist appointment for example. Do you agree with my thoughts on these games or not? And why? Is there another game that you play or want to see me playing? Let me know which one that is in the comment section below. And stay tuned guys, because next time I will play through an ant game which I think is the best one on mobile.